Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Tales of Iron. In the last episode, we beat the game. Well, at least the final boss of the game and saw the ending credits. Reggie avenged his fallen father and his fallen... Kingdom? We, we, we built the kingdom. All the fallen warriors and other rats who had died to the initial incursion from Greenwort and his frog clans. And, hey, that's pretty awesome. Good for us. Now we're going to do a bit of exploring together in this episode. We're go I'm probably going to try the boss battle that I didn't do down in the graves. You want to place the last statue there. Walk the lands and see if anyone has anything to say to us, and maybe we'll end by going back to the Frog Kingdom again and seeing if maybe we can make peace with them somehow. Be a nice way to, I guess, end the episode. Uh, rather, episode. Um, Reggie's saga. We'll go with that. Well, I guess we'll we'll leave the current gear he's got. It's almost to the into all of it's almost gold in color, with the exception of our shield, which means. It's the best we can wear at the moment for its weight or category. All right, so I don't think we picked up any new blueprints, but let's talk with our brother really quick and see if we did. We did one blueprint and it's more frog armor, frog resistant armor. It is far more defense than our current royal robes are, but we go back into medium weight. Let's store it at the moment. We'll see how we look in it. Whenever I start playing the game, it, it, the, the control stick is always too sensitive. Okay, let's see. So if I was to wear this armor, it's heavy armor. It would be, I think, the first time I'm wearing heavy armor if I want to wear it. I do very much like the look of it, though. It's an alternate skin. I like the look of both of these, but I don't want to go up to medium weight. So I think we'll stick with the best light armor we've got. Which keeps us in lightweight mode. Come on, Red. Walk! <laughs> Alright! Uh, we know there's no one who wants to talk to us in the throne room. So, let's head out and visit the statue of our father. Oh! Someone has something for us. Our squire does. But she's having a hard time just walking today. I guess we're running everywhere here at the very end. You might want to go and visit your father. That way, the statue of him. With peace restored to the kingdom, Doug organized a grand tournament in Reggie's honor. As tradition decrees, a new king must prove his worth before all the realms. Okay, we're actually having a fight in the old battle arena where we first squared off against our brother at the very beginning of the game. But before we go there, I'd like to investigate the realm itself. So, let's go back to Longtail Village, and we'll start here. We'll walk to the tower, and see if anything changed there. And then, we'll go to Mole Town, in remembrance of our friend, whose name I still can't remember at this moment. No talking during the cart ride. We are maxed on our iron and our bits. I guess we should spend some of this on more ammunition and poisons. So let's visit the shop. We'll also see if they have anything new here at the end of the game. They have one new thing. Queen Grub Plaque. 
A new decoration for Reggie's armory, made from the corpse of the Grub Queen. Well, first we're gonna buy... A, oh my god, it's almost all our bits. Maybe we don't buy that after all. Let's look. It's three gold for the Grub Queen's plaque. We'll take that. It's three more for the Mozzie Queen plaque, which we can't afford at the moment. Stalker and Mozzie King plaques as well. But I need gold for these. I don't have all the gold. 80 bits is a lot to ask for our pistol to be refilled. So no, we'll just walk the land and hopefully find some more ammo for it out there. No other blueprints for sale. I guess we should see really quick if there's anyone else here. Nope. Farmers, guards, and miners. Sorry, an engineer. Miner and a farmer hanging out there. I mean, we, I guess we could do it. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's spend some, some money. So, we want to buy the bullet box. Okay, so I'll off-screen myself now, balancing this a bit better by spending some of our iron. I'll be right back, everyone. All right, there we go, everyone. Kind of a bit balanced now, back down to 77 iron and 74 bits, but that was up for buying the ammunition for our pistol. Actually, I wish you would walk. There we go. Wish walk a, I wish I could get you to, to walk a little faster. Uh, sure. Let's see if the mayor? Elder. Village Elder. Has any new quests for us here. We can check the built board outside, too. This stuff was added, I believe, sometime after the game had already been released, by the way. This new content we're seeing with the fight in the arena. Which I like. I like that they're adding, they added a little more to the game. I like it when the developers add additional stuff for you to do. Okay, he has no new quest for us. Or, he or rather, he doesn't want to talk with us. Because he's sleeping. It has been a busy f a month or two since the frogs attacked. Check the bulletin board? Nothing there. We're going to head back on out to the tower. To the east of the ranger fort. And see if there's anything new out there. I'm imagining that there isn't anything new. But who knows, right? Well, I'm going to find out. It's not like this game, I think, has uh, been played to death yet on YouTube. So... Let's investigate together. I guess I can talk again about how amazing this game is. The sound effects alone are the best I've heard in any game I have ever played. The sound of the wind rustling. You can hear the farmers raking. Working with the hose. Tilling the earth. It sounds perfect, too. So it's exactly like what I would expect it to sound like. They did a fantastic job on the sound effects for the game. Graphically, I like the game. It's cute. Combat-wise, it's good as well. I've not, I've not felt that the controls are the problem in, at any point for me during the game. I'm here using a, Logis, a Logitech gamepad at the moment. And it, it's felt perfectly fine the entire time. I have not fought the controls, it's always been me doing the wrong things during the, the combats. Which is to say that I'm reacting to a, Oh god, this poor guy's still dead here. And they're still working on that bridge. I guess it can't have been months since the... No, it had to be at least a week, but the, he's not decomposed. Maybe he's just resting. I, I kind of refuse to believe it's it hasn't it's been like no like time elapsed, so no significant length of time has elapsed since the frogs first attacked. All right, look how much the village has been fixed in just a short period of time, but yet it, I refuse to believe it took him just a day. We cleared everything out down there already. 
Hello, Hunter Soul. Where is... He's back there. Still practicing. Well, we're here. It's another 60 bits if I want to purchase the poison. Oh! But we sh Let's not do that. Because we need to explore the sewer system. We have more of it we never fully explored. That's poisoned. And I wouldn't mind seeing what's down there. But first we go to the tower. We can work our way backwards. Hey! Mozzies! Actually, if I'm going to be killing lots of insects, we probably should spend some of those bits, because we're going to get right back up to max very quickly. Wow! Mozzie's dropping lots of iron today. Well, we can spend bits on stuff when we get back. We don't need any bug juice. Look at the background of the game, too. It's such a good job with the cult with the light. The coloring of it all, it feels like a really wild evergre uh, evergreen forest. <laughs> Holy crap! Three with one swing. Amazing weapon. So quite a few enemies, but none here that are going to pose a risk to me. Now, if I hadn't bought the ammunition, bought if I had bought the ammunition, we could have just have refilled it here for free. Since we're going into the sewer system, we should probably wear grub resistant armor. That means going into medium weight, if I'm going to do that. But we're going to do it anyway. I want to check the top of the tower. I don't think there's anything new up here, but who knows? So, let's take a peek. Nothing. Okay, back down we go. I am totally going to remove all... Well, remove it. Strip is the wrong word, too. I'm going to record all the sound effects in this game to use them for my Dan Does the Dragons campaign in the future. It's just, it's too good not, not to take advantage of it. I've actually backed a few Kickstarters many years ago that released different sound effects for such. Dark Raven was the name of one such company, but I've discovered throughout the years that video games have some of the best sound effects in them when you want, like, sounds of, like, a town or the like. And so I I now just go and grab those instead of backing anything else new on Kickstarter or buying something that a company makes specifically for sound of background sound effects because they do such a great job in various games we, I play these days. Okay, now we have a gas mask, so I'm guessing we should be safe in here. I'm not currently wearing it. Okay, I put it on the moment I step past that part. Let's see what let's see what's in here. Oh! We can see there's two chests located down here. Oh, look at this place. What type of creatures live in here, I wonder? Probably those lizards, is my guess. And we didn't hit the poison area yet, so we have no poison to help us fight them.
Those eggs look familiar to me. Am I really going to be able to dig these up without having to fight anything? You know what? We've been wearing the crown the entire time, and everyone I think now knows who we are. I want to wear a different type of helmet at the moment. A one-handed axe. Our current weapon is better. This ha this is the same damage as our sword with a little more weight. I think it will do. I want to say it now. One-handed says it does the same damage. I could swear axes seem to do a little more damage. We'll store it. This seems like a great area to be ambushed in. But nothing's fighting us. I guess nothing can live in this area. Except for these fungus. The mushrooms. So we're fighting grubs. And we'll go and get that poison. And then head back out. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? I really like the way that they've done this area. It feels to me like there should be creatures we're fighting in here. But there's nothing. A host of skeletons and egg sacks. All right, grubs. Oh, wow! There's two of them waiting here now. Not just one flyer. Let's see how good I am at this. It's been a while since I fought normal grubs. Helps that we have fantastic equipment for this. Our flask couldn't help but take that shot. We'll be passing by an ammo box anyway, so it would have been interesting if we were now able to give quests to like underlings to do this type of thing. But I suppose the game was never designed with that type of transition in mind. Similar to oh wow, what's the game? I never I never finished the game on the Nintendo Wii. It launched with the Wii, if I recall correctly. But you had to buy it from the Wii store at the time. My Life is King? I think is what it was. I really liked that game. Let's try out our spear for a little bit. Wow, one s- Oh, if I say one stab's enough, it's not enough, apparently. Two stabs. Some iron on that one. I kind of wish there was more reason to spend iron and bits on this. I, talked to, I think I talked about some of the criticisms I had of the game at the end credits. It's it's still an amazing game. This is this is really a fantastic game. I've really enjoyed playing it, despite some of the slight balance issues. Or things I might have decided to do a little differently myself. But this is also why I'm not a game designer. Because what do I know? <laughs> Don't let me need your bud. I'm just leaving you there. We don't need the big stab. Okay.
keep thinking this is going to have more range than it actually has. I like how we walk with it out with the medium armor, too. I feel like I'm a, uh, what's it called? Storm Vermin from Vermintide. Actually, from Warhammer, I suppose I, I should say. Skaven were always my favorite race in the Warhammer Fantasy game. Although, I never played the game. I do own a few Skaven models for my own use in the Heroes Quest board game I've been working on. For my Ratlings. But I haven't actually, uh... Played Warhammer Fantasy. I, I like the idea of all of the formations in the in that game. All right, now we gotta get out of here. Warmer 40k was one of the actually that was the first miniature game I got into, if I recall correctly. Good thing I got into it when I actually had a good solid job too, because that was a really expensive hobby. We don't need to do a charged swing at all on these things. We can beat them up with just two normal stabs. God, I must have spent close to a thousand dollars on my Forehammer Tyranid group. Army? Army, Tim, is the right word to say. Swarm probably would be better. I don't know why people call the Tyranids bugs. They don't look like bugs at all to me. They look more like Velociraptors or some sort of strange lizard creatures. Did they used to look like? No, they look completely different as well back in 2nd edition. Uh, last time I played Warhammer 40k was when they made the transition from 3rd to 4th edition. And I hated the rule changes that they did there. As much as I love the models and the setting for Warhammer 40k, I think the rules have been pretty awful or were in the past. Not quite as bad as some other major games I've played. Looking at you, War Machine. God, so on. So unbalanced. If you had to do big charge attacks for this. Hello, Mozzie. I'm surprised you guys are still down here with your king killed. Hey, listen to that sound effect. It's absolutely wonderful. With the water coming out of that pipe and hitting the ground below it. The track here is good, too. Make a great... Uh, sound... Sound? Music-sound combo. To take for my own sewer system, for example. Oh, no! I mistimed that. We gotta do that again. Well, I have to go up a different way, but I'm pretty sure we can do it this way. This bring us up near the ranger camp, right? Let's see, we didn't use any ammunition, but we should save the game. Oh, right, we have exclamation marks to get rid of. Oh, that's that's a heavy helmet as well. We'll still wear it. Well, I guess we're sticking with medium armor at the moment. Okay. So it's faster for us to go to the ranger fort, so let's do that. And then we'll use the bulletin board to travel back to the crimson... Ah! Uh I would like to put the statues down. I want to fight the boss down in the graveyard at least twice. Just to show you guys what that fight's like. And then I guess we'll tr we should probably go to Mole Town. Before we try the arena to end the session. Maybe there's more battles we can do actually in the Mole Arena also. That would be fun to see.
Okay, well, first, we're getting the heck out of here. So we go back to the Crimson Fort. Oh, the Frog Village. I want to visit that, too, to see if anything's different now that we defeated Greenwort. Maybe the frogs are no longer as hostile, or maybe the, it will be completely empty. We should probably wear our anti-frog equipment while we go there, though. But we'll stick with the grub stuff at the moment. And you know what? To get to where I want to go, we should go in through the sewer system, right? I think... Uh, I'm sorry, through the kitchens. I think that leads directly to the place I want to be. I like how happy all the rats look playing your instruments up there. <coughs> Maybe we should investigate more of our castle as well. We'll come back here and explore a few more of these areas after we're done with the statue. We'll take a look outside the balcony for our, from our sleeping quarters. I think we're all done with the food, right? We don't have any additional food I think we can make. What are these? Uh, I don't know what those are. I've never seen those before. So I don't remember them. And we have already eaten all the meals. There's no more food that our brother will be willing to make us. At least nothing that will increase our max life any longer. We're all good in bug juice. We don't need any of that. What if the bard is down here, eating more of those raspberries? I think we saw him up above, though, playing an instrument, so he's probably not down here. Okay, he's not down here. Now, I am curious what this fourth statue is. I'm guessing that not everyone finds all four of these. No talking during these transitions. <laughs> the boss battle is directly below us if you want to actually fight it. But we don't quite yet. I want to see what where these statues go. But as long as I'm down here, I may as well use a better weapon, or weapon better suited to what we're fighting, which is going to be a hammer, because it's undead. I feel like that's the proper thing to use. And the same thing with the two-handed weapons. We're going to use this hammer as well. So again, we're fighting undead for the most part down here. And we'll stick with our current armor and helmet as well. One second. Where am I going? Okay, yep, it's directly to the east of here for the statue room. Let's see what this unlocks for us. We could have done this earlier, but I felt like it was a better idea thematically to go and fight Greenwort to put a statue here. So let's see what happens. All right, Reggie. Tomb of Rattus Augustale. Oh, you know what he's like? He's he's like Greenwort. 
Oh! But much faster. God, I keep blocking. that he does. Oh, that was lucky. That's good. Yep, that's the parry. Oh, God. I think we're losing this first match. I was hoping I could hit him with that charge attack. Am I gonna do it? I I am. Woo! Oh my God! Most of our ammo used, most of our poisons used, all of our flasks used, one hit point left. Victory first attempt. What did he drop? Right is this Augustale's key. The key to his stash of treasure. I was hoping that there wouldn't be a boss battle in here and that instead this would be some sort of like special reward for the kingdom. But I guess it was guarded. We get another crown, with a lot less defense, but a lot less weight. We will store this. And we could have done that fight before Green Wart, but I'm glad we didn't. That was probably just as difficult, if not... Actually, just as difficult as Green Wart fight. Actually, technically easier, right? Because I did that one win, one go. Now, we are badly hurt. We need bug juice, so we're leaving. <laughs> to go get more bug juice. We should also get these blueprints crafted, so we'll see what these look like as well. And while we're here, we may as well get some more ammunition. Save the game. Even though we're almost dead, we didn't have to fight anything down here. The kitchens are right here. And there's another boss battle, again, directly below us. So we can investigate that after we get some more bug juice. That battle down there will be quite a bit different than that other battle was. I thought he was like Greenwort, but he... Because I saw it because he throws a weapon and then he goes and grabs it again. Similar to the second stage of the Greenwort boss battle. And that's water, not bug juice there. I guess this gives me a chance to indeed explore the rest of our castle again. The bug juice is near the training dummy, if I recall correctly. The boss that we'll be fighting down there is also a rat, not a... Oh, it's just some right here. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> we needed every single drop of it. We're gonna want more poison. 
but I don't think there's any poison readily available before that fight. There is some. But that requires us doing the fight first or going along, going around the really long way to reach it. And that poison area leads to the turtle. I guess we could talk to the turtle again. I don't think he probably has anything different to say, though. Well, I said we'd explore the rest of this fort first, so let's do that first. Oh, and we have those blueprints. We should absolutely craft those. So our room is over here. Oh, I guess we could see... Well, we could see all the sets we completed by walking in there, but we, we won't do that. Oh, we have a, we got a guard outside our room now. Hey, Doug. Good morning. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen the... I uh, heard good morning. A blue crown. Let's go back to using this helmet. And because we're not going to fight grubs, we'll also go back to using that suit of armor. We're still at medium weight, though, because of this weapon. So we'll go back to using this sword. I'm still at medium weight because of the helmet I'm wearing. I would like to go back to... I don't want to go to medium weight. I, I really don't. That will put me just barely in it, though. No, that's silly. Well, how how's our medium helmets? No, we don't need that type of helmet. I don't, I don't like the look of that. That doesn't look terrible. That's medium weight, Tim. We don't want medium weight. Sorry, this is super important, everyone. <laughs> I don't like it, but we'll, we'll keep it. I'm sorry, I do like it. This is not as much as some other helmets, so we'll wear this for a bit. Alright, so let's see what these... Oh, the blueprints are probably going to be better than this stuff, though. I still think we can get a key to enter this room at some point. We just don't have it at the moment. We got blueprints. Let's see what we get. A spear. One-handed spear. Slightly less damage than our hammer. Less weight than our hammer. A cool-looking shield. More defense puts us in the medium weight, though. Store it. Whoa! I like that helmet. We'll wear this. More anti-frog armor. Must be heavy armor. Much more noble defense, we go into medium weight. Actually, it must be medium armor. I'm just going to store this. That was probably the gear that that warrior was using. I do like the helmet very much. Maybe we can get some actual metal-looking armor for us. It is, a, indeed, a heavy, hel uh, heavy helmet. Armor is heavy too. What does it look like? Looks good. I do like the look of it. You know what? I'm going to stick with medium weight. We're going to go with this after all. How about our shield? Oh, I can't. Well, we could wear this shield too, but I do like the look of our 
shield with the mouse face on it instead. So we'll use that. Gotta get the exclamation marks to go away. There we go. Well, I'm gonna stick with our hammer. Because we're going right back down now to that area to fight that other boss. Then we'll head to Mole Town, just to see if there's other battles in the arena, but we're not going to do those. And then we'll go to the Frogs, and then we'll wrap up with a battle in... ...in the same place where our father's statue was erected. Oh, the Captain of the Guard died, didn't he? At some point, he did! Yes, yep, defending the fort. So I, I really like that so many friends died helping Reggie. It really adds a sense of weight to what was happening here. I like when the good guys win, but there are losses or consequences for their victories, as opposed to everyone, all the good guys winning single-handedly without any problems whatsoever, which seems to happen too often these days. There's too much time travel going on to revert the past or other de other such things of that sort. Or the good guys just win single-handedly and... Man, I want there to be some sense of sacrifice or loss for the good guys. This way, it there's more of a reward for having stopped the bad guys. They were actually a really significant threat, for example. Okay. Let's do this fight. We'll make two attempts at this one, everyone. Unless we get our butts handed to us very easily, in which case we'll try like another two times. Lower Crypt Sewer Key. The key to the sewer grate in the deepest part of the crypts. Where does, where would that even go? There. Oh, we left the chest there. So we'll want to go and take a look at that. There's a chest there that we never found. So there's two chests that we missed in this area. This key's probably used to access one of them. But now that we have this key, we'll need to fight to keep it. That was lucky. That was so lucky. <laughs> that that bash actually damaged him. I hear footsteps. I thought we might be getting another battle up ahead. That's probably more of them in the back. Okay, he background. Here we go. Another boss battle. like this guy. He might be a four because of how he uses that hammer. No, Tim! No, wrong way! Oh, thank God. Oh! Oh! They are dead. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, he was... I tried him twice uh, with my other save slot a long time ago. We will make an attempt at this again. God, he really hurts. And there's no resistance against him. Because he's not a frog, he's not a mozzie, he's not a grub, he's not a mole, he's a rat. And so we don't gain any resistance from our armor. Richard! <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Let's see if we can do this. Dodge him! <laughs> Go! I did cheat by using the uh, what you would call it. <laughs> Ooh, by using the, the pistol, but I'll take it. <laughs> He's got a cool looking helmet, but I like my helmet that much better from the other boss we killed down here. Store that. Oh! A fantastic one-handed hammer. We'll use that. Store this shield. Hey! And we get a achievement. Nice. Shame we can't throw his hammer the way he was throwing it. And we get some bullets to go for the ones we used. And we didn't use that much healing items. Well, I can't believe we killed them. Actually, I guess I can because we used the power of gun to to win that fight. We can get back a little bit of our bug juice by smashing these. And then the bugs that come out of them. Sorry, bugs. But we're not out of this area yet, so. Let's get some more bits. Some arrows. Save the game. Okay, so we missed that chest. Let's head back there and get that. And then we head down here and see if we can access that secret chest somehow. Oh, it's through that area that we I missed earlier. Okay. Maybe there won't be hordes of undead waiting for me in this area? And there isn't, at least not here. Anti-frog armor. I like the way it looks, though it offers far less resistance, but also quite significantly less weight. see at least one dead guard right in front of us who's going to be getting up. I'm just going to shoot that one to death. Oh! Okay. It looks like there was a whole kingdom down here, doesn't it? That the other kingdom was built on top of. I do wonder if our father knew about what was down here. I saw you stand up for half a second. I know you're gonna get up. That was a bit bad, <laughs> but thankfully, our armor let us win that battle very handily. And where does this go? Rather evil-looking statue back there. So 
Sorry, bugs. Mozzie armor. It's that there's an alternative look to it. Oh, look at that evil looking helmet there. Store that too. Store that. Must have been what the statue was using at the time. Since statue was using at the time? The statue that that was made. Hmm. Maybe that represents the rat who was using that gear. I saw you get- I saw you just collapse right there. I know you get back up. Alright, we're heading down there to refill our poison vial. And then head all the way back up, Tim? You sh should head up this way. There's less fighting to do. I- maybe. May as well grab the poison. Though it's not gonna be free. I think this one-handed hammer does as much damage as our two-handed weapon does, doesn't it? Yeah, our one-handed damage is better than our two-handed damage. Uh, we'll never use- I mean, it's a hammer, so I'm really happy. Uh, I do like hammers in all games. I like playing clerics. So this is not quite the same, but it's close enough to it. Oh, okay, that one's not getting up. That works out. That's fine for me. Do you think it's the same rats we're killing over and over again down here? These undead ones? Or do you think they're different ones that we're defeating? Hard to tell with undead. Alright! I can't believe we beat both those bosses. Alright, so, uh, let's go to Mole Town next. I just want to see if there is anything to do in the arena, but I'm not going to- I'm not going to fight in it. Uh, I would like this last episode to be a nice taste of what there is to do after you beat the game, in case you guys pick up this game yourself. I saw you! Stand in there. So, Mole Town, the Frog Kingdom. Oh, we crap, we can't we can't actually go back up that way. We have to go all the way around. Uh, you're not allowed to jump up and down onto the both sides of this, if I recall correctly. We'll double check really quick, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. I'll have to kill this one again. How do you think they talk? Right? There's no muscle that- Yeah, see? The- It's too- There's no way for us to make it up there, unfortunately. So once you drop down here for that key, there's no getting back up that way. You have to fight this boss. Or you fight the boss in order to access the key. But in either case, you don't get that key without first killing that boss. And I don't know what that key is used for. The deepest part of the sewers. But I don't see anything else it could be used for here. I guess then we'll head out 
of this of this area the normal way by going far to the right and then back up this way and we'll leave there and visit this arena and okay I want a equipment chest but we're not gonna find it here we'll run through this well I do kind of like walk in maybe that key was used to access this door Oh, thankfully it doesn't matter how great you fall or how much equipment you're wearing, you still take only a little bit of damage from such falls. No, we're not- No, 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 I don't want to stay! Yeah, we don't want to stay. We just want to get out of here. No, Reggie, what the heck? Wait, what, Tim, stop. Stop pushing buttons. Okay, there you go. Oh, no, am I not allowed? Oh, no. Oh, wow, the only way back is to go all the way back down through the sewer system. That's right, through the, through the graves. Oh, come on, Reggie, please grab the ledge. For crying out loud. Can't double back that way. Oh. So then down. Wait, is that right? No, we want to go over faster, less fighting. And just try to race past all the creatures rather than fight them. So I guess I can just cut the recording here, everyone, and I'll be back when I'm outside of the graves. So give me a few seconds. Well, we have to do a big battle, so we might as well do this on screen, or I think we will have to kill these again. I saw one of them stand up, so I'm guessing they're both going to stand up. I guess we're recording myself going through this anyway, then. So let's keep exploring the rest of these graves together. I guess we can see if there's anything else that we missed and what else the game decides to spawn on you once you decide to come back down here to kill some of these creatures. We don't need any more bug juice. We can change our equipment while we're down here. So... What's the alternate look of this, by the way? Oh, I like that look. I like the color scheme of that. The dark blue with the dark color. Very much. It's anti-grub armor, but we are more likely to fight frogs. So we'll go back to wearing this. We gotta get, we gotta get rid of the exclamation marks. And I guess we can take a peek and see what the alternate looks of all these would be. I like that look as well. I like the bl the royal blue looking outfits on Reggie. But there's no reason other than well, looks are a looks are an important part of your character. Quite often, if I'm really good at a game. I'm willing to sacrifice efficiency for uh, aesthetics. But we've got the best hammer, so I can't think of why I would ever want to change my one-handed weapon. Unless I get a better looking one-handed hammer. Yeah! I saw you get up, so I know you're getting up. So let's do this. Ooh, three of them? That really hurt. I'm just gonna go back and refill that. <laughs> and not stand on top of you as you detonate. 
Yeah, because you're gonna this repopulates. You know, we could race right past them. But we don't want to fight them, so. Sure, I just want to get out of here. Nope, that was too soon, Tim. It doesn't look like they really care about being moving undead unless there's a living creature immediately around them. Like, we can race right past... Oh, well, those aren't even getting up. And we know we don't need to go that way. But we are lucky to end up fighting grubs on the way out. Or undead. Okay, but we don't have to fight the, the undead. Or any grubs. Okay, that's nice. You guys all hang out down here, you know, be cool with each other. Save the game. Alright, and head on up. Back to the crimson. That was not so bad in the end. The cut part was literally like about 20 seconds of me racing through two rooms. So, we didn't miss much. So, we'll see how the battles are... What the battles are like over here. At least what... No, I, I want to do the arena battles while we're here. No, we'll do that last. I want to head to Mole Town and see if there's any other arena battles to do there. And then we can head to... The Frog Kingdom. Do... After that, I guess... We'll try a battle or two in the arena here. And then we'll end looking out over our balcony. So that's going to be the plan. Now, I can't imagine there being anything... Well, actually, it's the arena here I'm interested in. Because we didn't really meet any of the leadership here in Mole Town. We only fought in the arena. Did we miss any treasure chests here? No, we did not. And it does look like there's more battles to be done in the arena. But there's probably more gold there. And thus you can spend that to purchase the other bug heads, trophies. Oh, we know there's other battles here, right? There's one more battle. We did not do one of the battles in the arena for like another 9 or 10 gold which would give us the last currency we would need to purchase that last bug head oh no there are two new ones right I don't think we saw either of these before double trouble and wild wave a selection of creatures from the wilds. Any victor would be a true champion of the arena. Double trouble, the ultimate challenge, two at once. But we don't need to do either of them. What's for sale at the kiosk? Nothing new here either. Sorry, guys. Don't want to be here. All right, so let's now go to the Frog Kingdom. I'm imagining that they'll all just run from us because no significant time has elapsed since we beat Greenport. At least that's the impression I get. No talking during the transitions. <laughs> Classic Tim style. <laughs> I 
mental note, though, there's ammo and poison to be had here quite easily if you want it. Okay, so there's nothing here. So this area, I'm guessing, is completely cleared out of all the hostiles. All right, then. We could investigate all the way down to see if there's a new frog on Greenwart's throne. But I'm just going to assume there is not, since I don't see anyone working the fields. I'm going to guess this whole area remains as it was when we were here probably like two days ago in the game world uh, time. Oh my god, is that a giant bug in the background? Is that a mushroom? That's a mushroom. Okay. But that was a giant, like, uh, stilt walker of some sort. Alright, well then, let's go back to the Crimson Fort. We'll do... A battle or two in the arena here. We'll do two battles if I'm able to beat the first battle right away. But if the first battle beats me, like, twice, we'll just call the session by looking out over our character's balcony. I wonder if there'll be any new creatures here. I'm pretty sure on the Steam page, they show, like, a rabbit. Would be interesting if that's the case, right? Moles and rats are generally the same size. And so are frogs compared to rats. But a rabbit is quite a bit bigger, I thought. Well, I guess it depends upon the rabbit. Well, I guess we'll, guess we'll find out how right or wrong I am about this. Yep, no talking. <laughs> what do we get? We get ammo refills. Okay, equipment change, as much bug juice as we want. Oh, and a fighting board. There is a rabbit, Gray Ears of the White Whiskers. With a hop in his step, Gray Ears bounces into the tournament grounds. Captain Blacktail. Normally out adventuring on the three seas, Captain Blacktail has made a special appearance at the tournament. Is there anything that happens if I just walk in here without taking one of those quests? Okay, if I don't take a quest, the music goes away, and we only have the statue of dedicated to our father here. So let's try fighting the rabbit. The rabbits of white whiskers had sent their most agile warrior. It would take more than a hop and a skip to overcome the formidable gray ears. That's us. Wow, that combo is horrible. Right, 
We're dead! Oh wow, to fight to the death as well? You're kidding me! <laughs> why, the, why do you fight him to the death? That doesn't seem like a thing that uh, I would agree to, or Reggie would agree to here. Judge the distance on that. that one sound as the first frog boss I killed a long time ago. To that, like, he doesn't fight to the death. We don't kill him, but he kills us. I don't know if I agree with this. And the captain of the guard is still alive. I thought he was dead. Oh, and our brothers are in the stands. We have the chef and the blacksmith here too. Nice. Where's our other brother? I don't see him here. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, I'm surprised we won the second time. Go gun. If not for the power of the gun, we would not be doing anywhere near as good, I suspect, in this. Alright, anyway, I think that was a good spot to stop, everyone. So we'll leave that final battle undone. The final battle's in the other arena done. I would highly recommend this game if you've liked what you've watched so far. It's a lot of fun. It's very difficult, though. It is very, very difficult. So uh, even though the enemy telegraphs, you don't have... Outside of the first few battles, like the first, well, first few areas, maybe the first one-fourth of the game, uh, it starts to get a lot more demanding about when you hit the buttons. And there are, and you need to learn the spacing for different uh, bosses as well. And know which ones you need to be close to, and which ones you need to be far away from. Some of them are very, like the Mozzie King is, is the real first, actually the second battle where some of the game becomes a lot more demanding of you. The first battle in the, the graveyard against Redwort was the first time I died like 20 times fighting a boss, and I realized suddenly that I had to get good at the game. Also, where does it put, I wonder, the trophies that we picked up? The, the queen and, well, the, the grub queen face. I wonder where that was located. Would be nice as well if we could find, like, the grave to our mole friend who died or passed away. Some place to remember him by since he helped us for quite a bit. And if not for him, we would never have gotten a gas mask and not been able to invade the frog kingdom. Hey, good morning. Alright, everyone. So... 
Let's look out over the balcony, and that will do it for us. Alright, everyone. So, I hope you guys like Tales of Iron. What a great little game this was. And most of this... Well, half the game? Half the game was blind as well. Everything after... I'm sorry. Everything when after the Mozzie King was new. I had not been able to defeat him. He kept beating me. Red Wart beat me 20 times before I was finally able to beat him. And right after that, I realized that I should totally record this game. I understand enough about the combat to make the first half of it entertaining to watch without me dying a whole lot. And the other parts would really hone in the fact that this is a difficult game in the end. But if you like difficult platformers and beat-em-up style that you saw here, I could again recommend it. There's a minimal amount of grinding that you need to do for some of the quests. There is some running around back and forth, which could probably be eliminated, but it's not too distracting. And I think the game is wonderful. So, I'll do a proper review on it probably sometime in the future, but if at the moment I can recommend it. I hope you guys liked watching this series, and I hope to see you in whatever game I play next. So take care, everyone. And thanks again for watching.